Okay, so today we're going to look at transferring our WhatsApp directly from one phone to another. These are Android phones. You can't do it at the moment on Apple phones, iOS. It's got to be Android. You can transfer these chats directly without going through the cloud. Now, normally when you transfer your WhatsApp chats to another phone, you have to do it via the cloud. You back up to the cloud. So you go out to the cloud and then you come back down from the cloud to the new phone phone now some people don't like transferring their stuff to the cloud so this is helpful there also some people might have so many pictures so many chats on their whatsapp that they don't have enough cloud storage space especially now with google drive whereas google have basically stopped allowing you to store photos free of charge now that's all taking up cloud storage space so it might be that you just simply haven't got enough cloud storage space well thankfully now you can do a direct transfer from one phone to another now before we go any further both phones should be in the same location they should be connected to the same wi-fi and you should be transferring to the same number i.e you're planning to move your sim card from one phone to another or have already moved your sim card from one phone to another containing the same telephone number as the old phone or you might have got a new sim card and transferred your number over to that that's very very important you cannot transfer your messages to a new telephone number unfortunately also direct transfer via this method it does state that the chat transfer feature allows you to transfer your full account information, including all of your personal messages, photos, videos, documents, etc. However, you can't transfer peer to peer payment messages and your call history. So if those two things are important to you, if peer to peer payment messages, which I must admit I've never heard of them before, and your call history are important to you, then you will need to use the chat backup method and make sure that you've got enough cloud storage space to do that. But if you're not worried, then carry on following this guide. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we're not actually in a chat on the phone we wish to transfer from. So let's go back to our chat list and then you need to tap the three dots in the top right hand corner of the screen and then tap settings just down there and then you need to tap chats just there. Then you need to scroll upwards and tap on transfer chats. Now, if you can back up the chats, now's a good time to do it. But if you can't, if you've got enough, not enough space or you really don't want to back them up, then uh, you can hit transfer chats. So it says here, transfer chat history to Android phone. Transfer your chat history privately and have your most up-to-date messages without using Google Drive. Certain device permissions are needed to connect to your new device. So you do need to make sure that you've got WhatsApp installed on the phone that you wish to transfer to, but you must make sure that it's not connected to another telephone number or connected to your current telephone number. It's a, a blank canvas as such. You've just installed it. So let's just tap start. So here it says permission to access your precise location is needed. WhatsApp will not collect this information. Your device must have Wi-Fi and location turned on. So tap continue. And now it's saying allow WhatsApp to access this device's location. So make sure you tap allow and make sure you tap allow to any of these uh, access permissions that come up here. So tap allow. So it says here, download WhatsApp on your new phone, register with the same phone number, use this phone to scan the QR code shown on your new phone. So let's go to WhatsApp just there on the new phone. Tap that. Then we need to tap agree and continue. Then we need to type in our telephone number. So I've just typed that in. So tap next. And then it's asking me, is this number correct? So double check it. If it is, tap yes. If it's not, tap edit. 
it's now sending a SMS or a text message and we need to type the code in or that comes through on the SMS or text message, depending on where you're from. There we go, verification complete. And it now says transfer chat history from your old phone. Use the camera on your old phone to scan the upcoming QR code. To continue, you must accept permissions that will follow. So anything that comes up here, you must accept the permissions. So tap continue. And there you go, it's asking for precise location. So again, tap continue, tap allow on anything that appears and then scan the QR code. So I'm just going to do that. I've scanned the QR code. It now says stay on this screen. It says invitation to connect. So you've got decline or accept. You can't see that on the screen properly, but I'm going to tap accept. And there we go. It should now be transferring your messages across. Now, this might take a bit of time. It really does depend on how many messages you've got and more essentially how many photos and videos that you've got. But leave it, let it transfer across. And hopefully within a few minutes, everything should be transferred from your old phone to your new. OK, so eventually the chats did transfer across. It took a little while, but as you can see here, the phone I transferred from is now got WhatsApp as a fresh and nothing on it. And the phone I transferred to has got my messages on there. So there you go. That guide showed you how to do a direct transfer of your WhatsApp from one phone to another going directly from phone to phone and avoiding having to back up in the cloud. I hope you like this guide and if you did hit that thanks button and consider making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of links down there for you, including my Amazon shop. And if you're looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, Fire Stick accessories, or even looking for a VPN, there's some links down there for you too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these videos. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And don't forget, if you see any videos that you might think might interest your friends, your relatives or your work colleagues, don't forget to share them too. Thanks for watching.